What's up you guys? It's Matt here. Welcome back to another video. Now, um, I was a little bit upset yesterday because I bought a lot of cryptocurrency, but one thing that I didn't buy was XRP. I did buy some in Margex, but I didn't buy any in like my portfolio, my Coinbase portfolio. I already have 100,000 and I'm happy with having 100,000. And we're hitting lower and lower prices for a lot of things. And when you see those low prices, it gets you excited about the things that you have the most of. So for things like XRP, it just makes sense for me to, to get more, right? And a lot of questions have come to say, do you now have 200,000 XRP because of how low the price was? Um, or did you decide to buy, you know, uh, another 50,000 or something? And no, I spent my money on Ethereum. I spent twelve thousand dollars, about twelve thousand dollars, on Ethereum, um, at which it's already you know paying off uh, definitely. Um, but I want to see that obviously flourish. I moved to Ethereum over to my my um, ledger, and then I have three Ethereum that I'm looking to gain my initial investment plus some profit on uh, as it does go up to maybe uh, ten thousand a pop, right? Um, but for XRP. I didn't buy any more. So my question to you is, did you guys decide to buy that XRP dip or were you afraid of what happened with the entire market? That seems to be the case right now is to kind of say whether the fear got to you or it was just an opportunity to buy so much. Because obviously throughout my live stream, I was telling people, this is an opportunity. I believe that hitting these low prices um, again is kind of just like a blessing in disguise. And they say that, um, you know, you ask the Lord for something, right? And he doesn't just give it to you. He gives you that opportunity to now get that. You're like, oh, I want to be a millionaire. Here's the opportunity to be a millionaire. You know, uh, oh, I want to own this car one day. Here's the opportunity to have this job that will eventually pay for this car, right? Or whatever, right? You have this opportunity ahead of you and it's whether you decide to take it or you don't take it. So let's talk about where XRP is right now. Um, obviously, there's some things still going back and forth when it comes to XRP news and where things stand there. But guys, if you could, make sure you hit the like button, hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell for more of these videos. Also, I feel like my hat's crooked and I keep wanting to adjust it. Make sure you guys hit um, the like button. I think I already said that. Uh, make sure you check out my link for Marjex, my link for Patreon and Twitter. Um, Marjex, great platform. I've been able to trade and you can also trade with little money to invest at a higher X leverage to trade with more money. Now, just understand you're trading with more money, but you're putting your money at a larger risk to be lost. Um, so feel free to check out that link down below if you guys are interested in, you know, Marjex trading and, and leverage trading. Um, but XRP, again, is is one of the, is definitely a top cryptocurrency, right? Uh, I forget what it's ranked, ranked seventh uh, on the list. It's at a $28 billion market cap. And I guess a lot of people would love to own this position, but there's also a lot of fear in people's hearts. If you are not heavily researching the project, then the fear would overtake the overwhelming positivity that I see or I have in my heart. Um, and if you have that fear that overtakes it, you're now looking to sell or looking to just say, I'll hold what I have and wait, right? For me, it's a, a hold moment because I already have a bunch and I'm okay with my cost basis, which is 50 something, 52, 53, um, which is right now below my cost basis. So I wanna know what you guys did if you decided to buy any, uh, but XRP currently stands at 51.3 cents. Uh, you can see my crypto balance with my 100,000 that I have is 51.4 as I have a little over 100,000. But then if you look at the market cap, we're at a $28.7 billion market cap with $1.8 billion worth of volume. Um, we also are sitting at 56% of the total supply that is in circulation. The volume to market cap ratio is also at 6.6%. Uh, now in the last uh, couple of days, right, we saw these low prices, right, this low price of 43 cents which if you decided to buy 100,000, it would be $43,000, which I was down to $43,000 worth of value. Because remember, I still had 100,000 while I was up here at 65, which was worth 65,000. 
but coming down here, it was worth $43,000. Um, but if you decided to buy there, you have $43,000. You also gained uh, a decent amount, almost $10,000, right? $9,000 total um, in the process, which again, amazing to have uh, that much of a gain if you decided to buy that much. But percentage wise, it's still an amazing gain as well. Um, but the, the question is, uh, did you decide to buy any? Did anybody really decide to buy any? Because the dip was kind of scary. Seeing Bitcoin, Ethereum, everything just continue to fall was kind of scary. Um, and hitting so many different support levels was definitely, um, definitely created a lot of fear. I think the fear and greed uh, index is still sitting at a level of, yeah, 34. So it's still, people are still fearful. And you want to buy while people are fearful right be fearful while others are greedy and be greedy while others are fearful that's kind of the the mindset that you want to have when the market is low you buy up as much as you can right as much as you feel as though you can afford to lose not saying you're going to lose it but always invest what you can afford to lose never invest like your mortgage uh money or or take out a second mortgage or something and put all that money on XRP. That's not what we're asking you to do. Uh, I'm not asking you to do anything. Uh, I'm just asking you to be cautious when investing and find the right times to invest. And this dip definitely created that opportunity to now gather so much more. And I was receiving a lot of questions on um, in comments of XRP videos um, or in a video and uh, also my live stream uh, was about, hey, you know, should you, do you have any more? Did you buy any more? Uh, because I said I bought uh, seventeen or $20,000 worth of crypto and stocks. And it would make sense that I bought more of the top positions that I had. But no, I didn't buy more of the top two positions, which is XRP, XRP and uh, Jasmine coin. I bought more. I bought $12,000 worth of Ethereum. I bought... Uh, $2,000 worth of something else, $4,000 worth of something else. And you guys know all of the different things that I I uh, bought. I talked about it in my uh, live stream as well as uh, another previous video. Uh, but I want to know if you guys took the opportunity to buy any. Do you have any more XRP? Did you buy any yesterday? Are you now a new holder in XRP? I want to know what you guys got going on. But if you guys could, make sure you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Um, hit that notification bell for more of these videos. Also, to give you a little bit of uh, news, there's not really much news that's happening on XRP. I know that there's a meeting uh, for the SEC, but I don't believe that Ripple is involved in this meeting. Um, it's not necessarily a settlement meeting. However, I'm sure settlement will be, uh, the settlement will be discussed in some sort of detail. Um, but from what I understand, they both want to go to a ruling. And that ruling could then have Ripple pay a little bit more or obviously have the SEC um, or Ripple pay a little bit less based on what they find and, and their findings there, uh, which either way would be great to just have an end to this. But we also want clarity, right? We don't want just an end. We want clarity and to know what's right and what's wrong in these situations so that it can't be done again. But one thing that we know is that XRP is not a security. So that's 100% the only cryptocurrency that is um, legally labeled as not a security. Um, you can look at Bitcoin and say that that's the case, but not through law. It's just through uh, common conversation. Uh, Bitcoin's not a security. Uh, XRP is not a security. Guys, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Also, if you want to check out uh, Margex, feel free to go ahead and check out Margex. That link is down there in the description uh, for this platform. You guys can go ahead and check this out and, uh, you know, be a part of it over here and start trading where you can uh, trade $100 and potentially make $149. You can trade $200 and make $347. Or you can trade, um, you know, thousands of dollars and make thousands of dollars. Or you could even trade hundreds of dollars and make thousands of dollars. You can, you can, you can uh, trade $10 and make thousands of dollars. It all depends on what you're investing into and what your strategy is. Guys, I'm going to get out of here. I got some things to do. I actually have some ribs to cook. So should be great. But uh, hopefully the market continues to trend in this direction. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. And I'll catch you in the next one. See ya.